Hi, I'm Divya Gugnani, co-founder of Wander Beauty. Catch me on Distash. Hi guys, I'm here with Divya Gugnani, one of the founders for Wander Beauty. Okay, so this is not just any makeup brand. I'm going to let her tell us all about it because this is a very, very special for all you multitasking women. Divya, first of all, tell me, how did you get started? So it all started, my co-founder Lindsay and I met at a party. Okay. And we really just bonded over our love of beauty and our love of travel. And actually, they don't mix very well. So Lindsay, obviously, modeling for her career, planes, trains, automobiles, me being career mom, two kids, taking the F train subway every morning, getting up, putting on concealer, and like trying to erase the fact that I hadn't slept and had two kids under the age of two. And really, I found this pain point in my life where I didn't have beauty that was moving with my life. Like my busy, hectic, active life that was constantly on the go. I was putting my makeup on the train. I was putting my makeup on an Uber. I was doing my skincare at the gym. I was doing my hair at my desk at work. And I felt like there was no brand that was making that easier for me. In fact, everything was making it harder for me to make because the beauty industry tells you that you need 70 products, a cream for your left elbow, and like Lindsay and I just don't believe that in a philosophy. We actually believe less is more and that we really create multitaskers with intention and with purpose that actually save you time, save you space, and save you money. And so we felt that Wander Beauty was something that was really missing in the market. So we really create fewer, better beauty essentials. So I, I feel your pain because I still do my makeup on the train every morning. <laughs> I'm guilty of it. Now you can use Wander Beauty and make it so much easier. But tell me how. How is it easier? Because you're still essentially pressed for time, right? So how does it make the whole process faster and smoother? So this is a perfect example. So this is our Nude Illusion Foundation. Obviously, a lot of us have a foundation that we love, that we've been using for years that's in a glass bottle. Can't take the glass bottle anywhere can't get on the plane with it, it erupts in the suitcase, it's a hot mess. So the whole concept was put it in a tube that's super lightweight and easy to travel with so that you can actually reach for it, carry it in your bag, carry it to the gym, take it with you anywhere at work. Then when you're in the back of Uber and you need a little something something, you can open this up and this has a doe foot in it which you can use, okay. tap it on, use it as concealer, spot correct veins on your legs in the summer when you want to just like get rid of those blemishes all over your body your face um, you can just use the applicator and go right on but you can also use this as an all over foundation all over your face for absolutely weightless beautiful coverage so when i go on instagram and i see all these videos of all these women doing you know color here color here contour this contour that um personally i don't have time for it nor do i have the interest right. so someone like me you know this is a great product but what else do I need to not use to still look good? For me, the philosophy for beauty is fuss-free, foolproof, do it yourself. You should feel empowered to be your most beautiful version of yourself with a few things. So I think it all starts with your skin. For me, I really love our Fastlane Instant Facial. It's something that's just instant skin rejuvenation. It's like no appointment necessary, Sunday night with my husband, watching HBO. <laughs> And doing my um, doing my fast lane instant facial. You make it sound so easy. You know, you said you met your partner at a party and you guys collaborated, came up with this wonderful product, but it's not that easy. I think one of the things that's really been our true north and our guiding compass and the logo and wander really is a compass. Um, for both of us, it's really a demand empowering ourselves to listen and it's like when you talk you repeat what you already know but when you listen you learn something new and I think this concept of listening to the client from day one we surveyed a hundred women we asked them what their pain points were in their beauty routine so many women were going through what we were going through this concept of the modern woman is time starved busy and active she wants fewer better beauty essentials things she reaches for every day she wants her beauty to be clean um, and so we we feel really strongly that these were themes that were really powerful and important in the community around us and we really leverage listening to them to help create and innovate in terms of creating multitaskers that save her time, save her space and solve pain points in her life. Do you incorporate any of those old remedies that our, you know, mothers used to use, turmeric and, you know, things like that? I talked to you about Fastlane Instant Facial, like my mom used to splash milk on my face and that was always the concept of like, you know, the lactic acid in milk is so powerful at resurfacing your dead skin cells and getting your skin to regenerate new fresh cells and so Fastlane is actually powered with lactic acid and glycolic acid and so and salicylic acid so just 
tapping into that knowledge and that old Southeast Asian wisdom of what's important for your skin and the basics, I think that that's very much uh, influenced on our product development. So what were you doing before you started this? I was running a company two blocks away from here uh, and I sold that company to QVC and that was a fashion accessories subscription box um, that had a beauty component to it as well. Now how do you juggle both? You have, a, you have two beautiful kids you know, the home life, and then you have all this. It is a constant juggling act. I would say that I try and do each one really well, but never at the same time. By the way, I keep seeing all your stories, You're always baking and cooking, and I'm like, oh my God, how does she do it all? I know, it's really crazy. It's actually therapy for me. That's like mental time. So like running a business is very stressful. It's very high intensity. There's, oh, it's a global business. We sell around the world in Sephora. We're in Nordstrom, we're in Net-A-Porte. We just launched in Riley Rose. We're on wanderbeauty.com. This concept concept of the clock never stops so if I don't take time out it'll like time will not be there for me there's never a time where my email's not blowing up and so I feel like cooking's my best therapy I went to culinary school I'm a huge lover of eating so by default I have to love to cook to feed myself um, so I just and I really try and feed my kids healthy back to the same like you know organic principles so a lot of kale, a lot of chia seed, a lot of crazy stuff happening in my kitchen. What's next? I mean, you've gone global. What's, yeah. How do you get any bigger? I just think a lot of growth. I think there's so many new markets that we're going to be launching in. We're going to be launching in Europe this year. We're potentially making um, deeper penetration in Southeast Asia where we're seeing a lot of traction. We feel like the Southeast Asia market is just on fire and there's so much consumption of beauty, so much interest in skincare in particular, also a lot of interest in building confidence through makeup and transformational looks. So I think that we're tapping into a lot of that. I think for us, a big thing is focusing on our own direct-to-consumer business, focusing on wanderbeauty.com, making that experience as rich and beautiful as it can be, um, empowering our clients to feel really special and loved, You know, launching a loyalty program and having a great mobile experience. These are all things that are on the horizon. I think that there's so much more to do. I feel like We've achieved a lot that I'm happy about, but there's a lot more to do. What's one thing you want the viewers to take away from this conversation today? I think that the most important thing is, you know, having a lot of conviction and passion in yourself. I think to me, I think that's one thing that, you know, we, we grew up in a society where there was so much, and I, I can only speak to my own household, I can't generalize about society, but there's so much focus on the man and the, the men's career and the women, you know, being supportive caregivers, and I don't think that... Um, that's there's anything wrong with being a supportive amazing mom and making that choice I think that's a wonderful choice to make and I, I support that my mom made that choice and was always um, really involved in just you know being a homemaker I just feel like if you decide in any way shape or form that you have a passion like the time is now to do it like don't wait don't sit on it just like Find a way to make it work in your life whether you do it part-time or a little bit of the time or while your kids are in school like just follow your passion because the most learning and experience that you will have and evolution you will have as a person comes from really believing in yourself and taking those risks.